welcome to my space. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you guys. Today on my channel, we're gonna do this look right here. I've been trying to figure out how I wanna do this play on green for a while now. I've been going through my palettes and seeing what I have to recreate it just because I've seen a few looks on Instagram that really inspired this look. Uh, but this is what I came up with. It is this cut crease, really smoky, uh, eyeshadow liner look with lashes. It is definitely very glam. It is very full coverage, but I did use a good mix of drugstore and higher end products. So I hope that you guys like it. I'm not going to talk too long. Let's get right into the makeup look. If you want to find out how to recreate this very look right here, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're going to start zoomed in just because I want to make sure that we are seeing exactly what's going on with the eyes. So we're going for this green emerald silver moment right here. And I did a little bit of a wink with the black, so that's exciting. I know I never do that. So we're gonna start off with a nice fluffy brush. This is the JH30 with Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Collection. And we're using her palette also. We're gonna start off with this shade right here, which is called Potion. And I like a fluffy brush just because you want to cover a lot of brown in a quick amount of time. So we're just going to take this all over the crease area and we're going to start off with this big brush and we're going to use a smaller one to kind of build the color as we go. But I always like fluffy brushes because they honestly just blend out the best in my opinion. We're going to take this all the way from the inner corner outer corner circular motions and I'm bringing it in pretty pretty far into the inner corner we'll clean it up later but just make sure that you are blending these colors and so here's what I meant by bringing in a different brush so this guy right here is Morphe M433 and what this brush does with that same color is it picks up more color and we're able to pack that on and then blend out using the other brush. So that's exactly what we're going to do here is we're going to pack this color on and blend out. Just like any dark shade, I always recommend that you guys use smaller amounts of color at a time and then build as you go. Blending it a little too. I want to blow this color up quite high and far because our outer corner goes out pretty far too. So we're just going to keep doing that, switching back and forth between the two brushes. Okay, great. So once we've blown this eye up pretty much up to right there, we're going to switch gears. We're going to use the JH33, which is very similar to the M443. I just like to have a different brush for different colors because we're going to go back into that first brush we used to build the color quite a bit to blend the edges out. So the next color we're going to take is in the same palette and it's this guy right here, uh, right here, inside job. And it's just a deeper hunter green color. It's going to help create some depth. It's going to help create this intense cut that we've got going on. So we're going to focus most of that color into this crease here. And remember, I always suggest that you use a Little compact, look down into the mirror and tilt your head back almost so that you can know exactly where you are carving if you're unfamiliar with your crease area. These colors actually blend in well together. It takes very little to build this color up, so I would suggest to just shake off any excess and work a little bit at a time. Now we're done with those shades, I'm gonna go into the cut crease part. And to cut crease, I always like to use my Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion, and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand, quite a nice amount on the back of my hand. And what I'm gonna do is use a nice stiff brush. This guy here is by BH Cosmetics, and it's just a stiff brush. Um, I like to use that to carve out the crease because it really does help to move the product as you're going. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go from the very inner corner and start to cut and map out the eye shape. And once I'm pretty far in, I like to stop and look up so it shows me how high up I have to go the rest of the way. You don't have to use a primer. You can use concealer if you have concealer. 
Um, I just like the primer because it's nice and tacky and it helps the color that's going on the lid work very, very nicely and show up nicely too. So that's kind of like a preference thing for me. All right, so blending up the edges. I like to run my finger through the lid after I like cut it just because it also helps smooth out anything that hasn't been able to be smoothed by the brush. I'm gonna bring this color pretty far in. Just like that. So our crease is cut. It's a little higher on this side than the other side, but we can fix that later. So what I'm gonna do next is go into a different Morphe palette to get the combo that we need. And so this is the Morphe 35B, and it looks like this inside. It's very fun, very colorful, and we're gonna use these two colors right here. We're gonna start off with the matte to just have a nice base, and then we're gonna put a shimmer over it to help create some dimension and some depth so that when the light hits it, you can see a little nice reflection. So we're gonna go into a stiff brush. This one is by Jacqueline and Morphe JH41. And you can see the difference between the two brushes just because one's a little thicker than the other and that's what we want. This is gonna help move powder products instead of cream products like the other one. So what I'm gonna do is with one side of the brush, I'm gonna pack that first matte green color onto the lid. I like to do this in patting motions, blending the colors. Because the patting motion not only blends, but it also packs the color onto the lid so that it can show through more bold, more saturated. We're gonna bring that up pretty high. Just follow the outline that we just got done doing. And then don't forget to blend this right here. So the next thing that I want to do is use this silver shade. Actually, no, we're going to go into that shimmer shade and just put a little shimmer over that green. Just like that. It went from flat to being full with color and some dimension. I like it. Right in this corner here where the two colors meet, I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go into Power Cut. That's in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And we are just going to add some color, blend the two colors together. All right, before we go into our wing here, I'm gonna just use a Sephora brush. This is the Drawing Shadow 401 brush. And I'm gonna go back into that inside job shade, which is the deep dark green. And we are going to clean this up right here some and deepen it up some. Okay, so now to create our wing, we need something with a flat edge, like this right here, and I'm gonna use a tapered brush. This one is the JH34, it's got a nice point, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this up to the side where I would put it for a wing, and we are going to draw on our wing. The one thing I'm gonna suggest before we get started is using light pressure, just make sure you use the point of the brush, you don't push too um, hard down on the skin because it'll make the line thicker than what we want. We want it to imitate like a liner. Okay, great. So our eyes are finished as of right now. We'll do the lashes and the mascara and things like that later. But so far, I'm happy with the way that it looks. So I'm just going to zoom you guys out when we get started on the complexion. Okay guys, so we're zoomed out, we're gonna start on complexion, and from the jump, you know we're gonna use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. That's gonna be our midsection guide. We wanna make sure that we are covering up these pores. So what I like to do is just pat that into place in the areas where I know my pores are thriving, which is my midsection, this cheek area, chin area, just taking care of all of that. And so I'm going for glowy, radiant skin today, but then I also need to put some, where is it? 
SPF on, and this one's by Peter Thomas Roth. It's her Max Mineral Naked Broad Spectrum UV Protection Lotion, and it's got 45 SPF. Um, so there's no white residue, there's no flashback, it's got a radiant finish, and it's got this tint to it, which I really like. But I'm gonna mix that and I'm gonna follow the trend. I know I mentioned it last time, but I'm gonna follow the trend and use a face highlighter all over my face to help bronze, but also give me that luminosity. Um, the reason I'm using SPF is because I've added retinol to my nighttime routine just to help with texture, brightening, um, minimizing lines, enhancing the skin. It's just gonna help the overall appearance for a healthy, glowy, like radiant skin, which I'm all about. But you have to be really careful with retinol because you want to use it only at night. You gotta start off easy and you need to make sure you're wearing FBF during the day. Like that's a must happen. So we're gonna go into foundation and today we're using the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. This also has SPF in it. I'm like super scared. <laughs> I don't want to like mess up my skin. I love my skin. I just want to enhance it with creams and lotions in my skincare routine. And I hear very good things about retinol, so we'll see how it goes. But we're going to try this. My shade is the shade 405 Sable. And I think this might even be too light for me right now because I bought all these before I got Mad Sun. And then I got Sun. And I still have these. So we're using them. I'm just going to draw on a full coverage layer. This is not like our last video where we were doing a simple everyday. No, this is full coverage and so we're going for it. And what I'm going to do is use my beauty sponge, my Morphe beauty sponge, and we're just going to push that into the skin. I like using the sponge because of the edge that it has. I feel like that flat edge really helped me push all of the products together. And you really want to use pouncing motion, blending everything down the neck so that all of our layers just work into each other. Um, moving on while I talk, this is 380 Pecan. We are using this shade to conceal. So I'm gonna put that in the regular areas I conceal with, right here, right here. I love this shade, love it center and I left this area without foundation for this very reason so I'm gonna go a little heavy my skin and overdoing it and that's why I'm freaking out about the retinol so I want to make sure I protect my skin um, the retinol that I'm using actually is a little different than your typical retinol just because it is the Kate Somerville retinol serum and what it has in it is hyaluronic acid so it helps to counteract some of the effects of retinol which is dry flaky skin, um, which is really nice to know that it's not gonna be as harsh on the skin as some other retinol products, but I still wanna be extra careful, so I use like an Omega oil with it at bedtime. Kinda like having a good backup plan just in case some of the effects are happening, but I don't know, I hear good things about retinol and I'm excited to try it. It's just this whole two workouts a day, it's a struggle, people. One workout a day is a struggle, two workouts a day is hard, it's so hard. Anyway, so I'm patting this on and I'm cleaning up as I go. I try to wipe most of the fallout off with the face wipe, but sometimes the edges still get left a little rough, so I'm cleaning that up as I go. And as I said before, I like to start from the outer part of the under eye area, like the cheekbone area, right underneath the eye like the outer part here, and then everything else I drag in and do the inner corner last just because you still have product on the sponge and there's still product on your face, so you're bringing all of that into this inner corner, which needs the most coverage anyways. Okay, I like it. The skin looks super glowy and dewy still. Like, do you guys see that? It's beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is in that inner corner, I'm gonna go a little lighter, and this is 345. We use 380 to conceal, we're using 345 to highlight, and it is just right here. Not doing anything crazy with this color. This is just a highlighting shade. The only thing I will do is take this up the bridge of the nose some more just to help reverse contour with this shade. But it does mostly stay in the center corner. That 
is such a good concealer. Such a good concealer. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me in Fair to set the under eye area, and I am going to use my sponge to do so. I go back and forth between sponge and um, puff. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, what do you guys prefer? This is a really good powder. If you just haven't tried this Maybelline Fit Me powder, it is really, really good. You need to try it. So we're gonna move on to bronzing the face, and I'm gonna use a cream bronzer, but I've already put powder on, so that's a no. We are gonna move on to setting the rest of the complexion. And to set the complexion, we're using NYX, the No Filter Sand Filter Finishing Powder. And this is in light beige. I could probably get a darker one. Like, I feel like I should get a darker one. I, I don't know, I've been in the sun so much. I'm telling you, we have to do one workout outside. So it's like running three miles, walking two miles. So we're gonna go back into the shade potion right here. And we are going to take that in that lower lash line. I'm gonna blow this out quite a bit. You don't have to blow it up as much if you don't like something so low on your lower lids. I just like, the drama. I should probably tell you, I'm using the same brush too. It's the M433. If you don't want it as dramatic or as wide in the lower lash line, use a smaller brush. So instead of using liner, we are going to use that black that we use to create the liner on top. We're going to do the same thing in the bottom, but we're going to use a nice stiff brush like this one and keep it very tight to that lower lash line. Okay, good. So we can put on mascara and lashes here. And so we are actually gonna hold off on that because I like to be as comfortable as possible. Let's finish up the complexion. So for complexion, we are gonna bronze and contour up the face. The eyes are so heavy that you're gonna have to go a little heavier with your bronzing and your contouring. So what I'm gonna do is take my Real Techniques contouring brush and this guy is, oh my God, but it looks like this, it's a nice tapered end, and we're gonna take our Cap On Me Shade and Light Palette, starting off with these two shades, to help create a contour. Just gonna take this very close to the hairline. We're not gonna bronze with this, we're just gonna sculpt it. I like to put it on my temples to help minimize the forehead size here. Okay, great, we got some great, great depth, great color. I'm gonna switch gears and move from that palette to this Bare Minerals bronzer. I've been really liking the finish of this Bare Mineral bronzer because it is glowy and radiant. It's very natural and soft. Matte bronzers sometimes can be a little intense, especially the one inside that Kat Von D palette, and I still want some bronzy glow to this, so I'm gonna soften things up with this. Okay, bring back some of that glow. So in order to clean that up, what we're gonna do is we are going to take brightening powders underneath and we're gonna go back to this Kat Von D palette and use these two guys right here. On my Morphe sponge and we are going to blend that into the lower lid. We're pushing that into the skin all over. Under eye area, nose, anywhere that needs brightening. And then I'm also blending that over this contour here to help clean that up just a little bit. Help lessen the effects of that. And you see how it like softens it up a little bit? A lot of it actually. And so using a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend this out here, getting rid of any excess powder. Because if you remember, I didn't take away the bakage. I'm just gonna continue blending all those powders together. And see how much that like toned it down and cleaned it? I love it. I used to like baking, and for whatever reason lately, it's just not been working with me. It is so harsh. It is like killing this area here, and I don't want it to be so harsh. I want it to be more blended. So this shade here, you see how it's like almost all there? Um, I haven't been using it, but I want to start using it. And so that's kind of like a toning down the contouring shade, which is what I was trying to tell you guys earlier. We're going to tone it down with this shade. So we're going to grab some on the same brush and we're just going to run it through the contour. And it's going to help tone that down and get some of the patchiness away. So what I'm going to 
do now is set my face with a hydrating, glowy, dewy setting spray. The one that I like to use, and I know I've mentioned it before, is this Caudalie Grape Water. It is not advertised as a setting spray. No, it is not. But I love using this as a setting spray because it's aerosol. So it's got a nice little um, spray to it. Nice size drops that are gonna like drench and soak through and feel like they're wiping your makeup off. And I can control how much comes out of it. My makeup wears so nice, you can do this pre and post makeup application. So we're gonna get a nice amount on. Okay, so once that's somewhat dry, still a little wet, just a little, not too wet, we are gonna go into our highlight. And so today I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. It's gonna help bring out some of that tan going on in my skin. And so I'm gonna take a smaller applicator brush, this guy right here by Morphe, and it's the M501 brush. And we are going to get this baby locked and loaded with some highlighter. So highlighter is on. The last thing I like to do after the highlight is the blush. And so I'm using the Benefit Gold Rush blush. And this is like barely even a blush. It's still got plenty of glow and radiance to it, but I like it for intense looks like this because it's a little more toned down, laid back. You don't want something real crazy looking on your face with this much eyeshadow on. You want to pick one focus whether it's the eyes, the lip. If you're doing just complexion, you can definitely go with like a very pinky, reddish, uh, plumish blush to help just tie everything together. But because the main attraction is this right here, we're just gonna keep it very laid back. I do wanna do inner corner highlight. And we're going into a different Jaclyn Hill um, palette. We're gonna use this color right here as our highlight. This is VIP from the Armed and Gorgeous. So yeah, Armed and Gorgeous one. So let's go ahead and move on to the lashes and the mascara. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever on the bottom lashes. I'm gonna use the Hourglass on the top. And for lashes today, today's look definitely calls for lashes. We are going to use our Kiss Lash from their Couture line, their Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection, and this is Brazier is what the lashes are called, and we will get those on. I'm gonna try them out for the first time, and I'll be back to you guys with the lip. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Lashes are on. How bomb do these lashes look? Like, how bomb does this look? Look with lashes on. It's amazing what lashes can do. So we're going to do our lips. Now. I'm gonna use this combination right here to do the lips. This is the LA Girl. Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. This is the Mellow Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in Posh. You probably show you what it looks like. It's almost out, but it's like a nudie peachy color. And I've recently been looking for a, like a grayish undertone, not so peachy nude. I wanna try that out in like a, just a bare nude lip. We'll see how that goes. And then I also got these Gloss, it is the I Love Sarai Color Pop Collection Gloss. We're gonna try that combo out. All right guys, so this is the finished look right here. I hope that you guys like this look with me. It's definitely different than my everyday. It's more fun, more play on colors, just to stick to the theme that we've been doing lately. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love the way that the skin came out. I was scared for a second because we used a lot of powder products, but really using a nice setting spray like the one that we did made it all like it finished the whole look up and the lip is everything like can we get just just kidding so we're all done with the look i hope that you guys liked it if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button that way it lets me know that you like this kind of content hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel so you're made aware of when i upload new videos Coming real soon is gonna be a haul that I've been talking about and I can't wait to do. 
I am eagerly waiting for the products to show up. But without keeping you guys too long, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.